What's going on, Webheads? It's your friendly neighborhood Spidey Fit, or should I say Captain Fit. I'm at the gym today, and I'm gonna be doing a Captain America inspired workout. We're gonna be focusing on strength, speed, and skill. So I'm gonna be uh, combining all these movements into those three S's to make this workout more like Captain America. It's all body weight training, so we're not lifting any weights today. We're just focusing on pure strength. So let's get the workout started. Hey, what's going on guys? So today I worked on chin-ups and this mimics the uh, pulling strength that required Captain America to pull the helicopter back into the, um, the helipad. So he didn't actually manage to do that, but he managed to stop Bucky from actually, you know, escaping. So this develops a lot of muscle recruitment in the back, the rhomboids, the traps. It also involves the biceps, the forearms, and if you go slow enough, like I'm doing here, you really don't have to do that many reps. Just go as slow as you can, control your body, keep your shoulder blades down, keep your abs nice and tight, and then go slow on the way down. That's going to recruit a lot more muscles and make your biceps grow. So for those of you that can't do the actual pull-up, what you can do is you can jump up towards the bar, pull yourself up, hold for a brief second, lower yourself down halfway and pull back up. This is a great exercise to help you build strength for the pull-up. Now if you can't actually jump and pull yourself up, then what you can do is you can just hang by the bar and work on your on your gripping strength. This will actually improve your forearm strength, your shoulder strength, and um, will allow you to be uh, to build endurance for that chin-up. So start where you're at and just work with that. Captain America has huge shoulders. He has a nice V taper to his physique. So this exercise here targets the triceps, the shoulders. It works your abdominal muscles and your flexibility. Notice how I'm stretching my hamstrings on the way down and on the way up. It's also uh, loosening up my hips and it's just making me stronger overall. Uh, my, also my forearms are Pretty much a 90 degree angle which is really difficult so just be careful with this movement this is a great exercise to build strength on your shoulders she's actually showing you a different progression um, she's got really good form for this one she's keeping her forearms more of an acute angle and notice how her forearms are more towards her um, her feet and that's because uh, this is just progression and the, the key to this exercise is keeping your elbows in as you press down and away from the floor. A lot of people will tend to flare their elbows out and you want to avoid that. So just make sure to keep your elbows in. Moving on to the dips. This is a great exercise to build that explosive strength that Captain America has. Uh, you know, notice how he throws his uh, shield, he pushes people off. He makes people just bounce off walls. Well, the dips will help you build that explosive strength, that pushing strength. Um, it's a great exercise to build core strength, shoulder strength, and tricep strength. Uh, I love this exercise. I, I incorporate it at least twice a week. And sometimes I add some weight to it. Um, it just depends on how I feel that day. So wherever you're at that day, uh, be mindful about it. And if you're ready to add some weight to this uh, movement, then do so. But just be very careful with it. She's actually gonna show you a different variation of this uh, exercise. So this is a progression to the dip. What she's doing here is that she's slowly lowering herself down into the dip, pausing for a brief second and repeating. This is gonna build strength on your shoulders and your triceps to help you actually do the, the dip. So just start where you're at and keep working on this movement until you actually get the dip. Now for the abdominal muscles, what we're doing here uh, is we're doing a tuck hold. This is a really hard movement. A lot of people will tend to roll their shoulders forward, kind of round their backs, and they can hold this for days. But the key to this movement is to pull your shoulder blades all the way down by pushing away from the bars, keeping your chest open, and keeping those abs nice and tight. She's going to show you another variation. If you can't actually perform this movement, what you can do is you can build your strength by doing these um, knee raises on the bar. Again, you wanna make sure that your chest is open, meaning that your shoulders are rolled back, and that you're constantly pushing away from the bar, 
as you're pulling your knees towards your stomach or your chest, depending on your flexibility. Again, do this exercise until you feel really comfortable with it, and then eventually you can build strength for the actual tuck hold. Start with five seconds, and then slowly build on that exercise. Moving on to speed, Captain America has a tremendous amount of speed. He's really fast. Uh, so with this movement, make sure you bring your knees up nice and high, keeping your chest upright, keeping your abdominals nice and tight. Swing those arms like you're sprinting like Captain America. And do anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds and repeat four to five times. Give it a shot and let me know what you guys think. And now we're working on some skills. I know that Captain America does more than cartwheels. He does a lot of tricking uh, movements. But we're working on some simple movements that you guys can do at home, like the cartwheel. And I'm actually going to be displaying a harder variation of this with the aerial flip here. I actually feel really comfortable doing this movement now, which I like. Um, this is one of my favorite uh, movements that look flashy, and it's really cool. All right, and that concludes the workout. I had a great time. I actually learned how to do the uh, aerial flip. Uh, I used to do them, but they weren't as good. But today I got a, a tip from a friend on how to actually do the aerial flip, and that felt really good. I'm really happy. I'm gonna keep practicing that movement to make it look better. Um, I also, uh, my wife did the uh, cartwheels. Uh, hers are looking really good. So just remember with this workout, focus on where you're at. Uh, we did a couple of movements to make it easier for you guys, and just follow along and do your best. It's not gonna be perfect, but just continue to do it better. The workout's gonna be in the description box below, so you guys can follow that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, comment down below, hit that like button, and subscribe. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.